In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Softer.io. So please watch the video until the end and follow this tutorial step by step to avoid making mistakes. So let's get started. So Softer.io is a powerful no-code platform that allows users to create websites, web apps, and internal tools quickly without needing to write code. So it's built for entrepreneurs, small businesses, and teams who want to turn their ideas into functional applications with minimal technical skills. Software integrates directly with Airtable, turning your Airtable data into beautiful, responsive web apps and websites. Whether you want to build a customer portal, a membership site, or a marketplace, Software has you covered. So let's get started on creating our account. So from here, you can either use your Google account or sign up for free. So I'm just going to use Google account. Now we will be asked, how will you use software? So I'm just going to select other or for fun. And I don't know yet or other. We want to use data from an external source app. Select, I'm not sure yet. How experienced are you? So let's just select just starting out. Just following tools, none of the above, or you can simply add or select from here if you know all of these tools. How did you find about software? Just going to select YouTube. Now click on let's go. And as you can see right here, you can either start from scratch, generate from data, or generate with AI. And from here, you will see a bunch of different templates. So this is all of their templates right here. So let's say you want to create websites. So I'm just going to just click on websites right here, and you'll see uh, different templates for websites. So, but again, you can always start from scratch. But now let's just uh, select, I'm just going to select a website right here. So I'm just going to select this public roadmap uh, template. So click on use template. Where would you like to store your apps data? Just select Airtable, click on continue. Now you want to sign in with Airtable. In base, click on grant access. And now from here, you can copy your base to your Airtable account. Now, as you can see, you will see something that looks like this. This is how it would look like in Airtable. So let's just go back to our software studio. And this is how our website will look like. So you'll see this is the template right here. And you will also see a guide tour right here. So added blocks will appear here. You can also switch pages. Next, you can see you can style the overall theme for your app can manage your app users, and you can select the other app settings right here. Also, you can preview the app by clicking on preview right here in the top right. And when you're ready, you can publish it. As you can see right here, you can simply edit all of this. You have uh, specific blocks right here. You can add the source, the base, the features so you can do that by editing in your Airtable but again you can skip that process if you don't want to connect it to Airtable yet if you're quite confused yet as you can see this is how our app or website will look like so we can add some pages so let's click on add pages say page three so this is the next page 
This is the uh, first page. And we can also change the theme so that we can change the font right here. Click on save. And again, we can select the colors, text, the accent, the background, app styles. We can change it to large. Also change it to small, thing like that. Also, you will see a get started guide right here to make it easy for you. So we also add our domain if we want here in the settings, custom domain. So you can add, if you have an existing domain, you can add it right here. Also, if you have collaborators or if you have uh, team members who you want to share this website with or you want to help you build this website, you can simply go here to users and you can add users right here or sync with data source. So let's try and add some users. As you can see from here, simply type their email. And when you add that user, they will receive an email inviting them to collaborate with you on this project or website. As you can see right here, let's just go back. So you will see right here in your settings, there are a bunch of different settings right here, such as data sources, integrations, integrations with external tools or apps. Also, they have a mobile app, SEO, so custom code, user notifications, SM, SAML configuration, open ID settings, app history, and advanced settings. Now, when you're all done editing your website, you can simply preview it first right here. So this is how it will look like. You can also see here desktop version. Also see the phone version or mobile version. There, I think this is the tablet version and this is the phone version. So this is how your website would look like. And if you're done, just click on publish right here in the top right. Click on publish. So, you're, so to publish, you need to click to add a custom domain first. And after that, just click on publish. And now you can send this links to uh, specific persons or people you want to share your app. And also, if you add your domain right here and you click here on publish, of course, this website will now appear on your domain. So that's basically it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.